So this week we've talked about the customer avatars and Digital Marketer's own agency error to exemplify how to create your own. Now let's take it a step further and talk about applying the customer avatar to your copy. Copy is one of the most important parts of your marketing strategy, but it's also one of the most intimidating. Writing copy can be really hard. How should you know what to say in your email campaign that's going to make someone decide to finally buy your product? We have the solution for you. The type of solution that's going to spell out exactly what to say when you want a reader to become a subscriber or a subscriber to become a customer. Excited? So am I. We're going to show you how to write copy specifically based on your customer avatar. We're going to use your customer's pain points and challenges to remind them of what happens if they don't solve their problem. Every customer is just a person with a problem looking for a solution. That solution is your product and your copy is going to convey how well your product solves their problem. A lot of the time, businesses have great products. They just don't know how to show their customer avatar the value of those products. That's where this copy comes in. Your customer avatar's problem is causing them pain points and challenges. For example, at Digital Marketer, we teach you how to become a great marketer. Our customer avatar's pain point is that they're struggling with their marketing efforts for their small business. Their challenge is that they don't know where or how to improve. We have courses and workshops to teach them how to become really, really good marketers. That means that our copy is going to talk about how tough it is to market and not see the conversion traffic you were hoping for, which is the pain point, and not knowing how to improve, which is the challenge. Copy that converts talks about the pain point and challenges a customer is struggling through without your solution. Let's look at another example that you've probably seen a few hundred times in your life, a weight loss program. Customers of this program have the pain point that they want to lose weight and the challenge of not being able to stick with a workout routine long enough to see a payoff. You've seen the copy on magazines or website ads saying, lose 20 pounds in a month and only work out once a week. While we've been inundated by these types of advertisements for workouts, there's a reason. They worked. Why? Because the copy pointed out the customer's pain point, which is being 20 pounds overweight, and their challenge, which is not being able to stick to a workout routine. Working out only once a week is totally doable. See what's going on here? You need to talk about their goals and values to show them the after state that they'll experience once they have your solution. Your customers have goals that are bigger than just your solution. For example, our business owner customers have a big goal of making more money from their company. Marketing is just the turbo boost that they'll use to reach that goal. These goals go hand in hand with their values. For example, our customers also value the experience of owning a successful company and the freedom that that gives them. This makes writing copy that motivates them to buy our products much easier. We can show them how our courses and workshops will help them make more money, help them attain that successful company vision, and feel like they've reached the ultimate entrepreneurial dream, freedom. Every customer has goals and values. For example, an e-commerce clothing company for women has customers who have a goal of being fashionable. Their customers value how they look and the feeling that it gives them. This e-commerce company can use their copy to talk about how owning certain products will help them achieve their goals and in turn, live their values. Now, let's tell them how to get your solution based off of their buying power. For example, the e-commerce clothing company's customers have total buying power. Their customers are the ones that are going to put their credit card information in and hit the purchase button. But not every customer has that same level of purchase power. For example, a marketer who wants to attend the annual traffic and conversion segment might need to have their boss greenlight the purchase. In that case, you want your copy to show that you know they'll need their boss's approval to buy the ticket. To do this, we create an email template that marketers can use to send to their boss and show them why it would be so valuable to attend the TNC conference. In our drip email campaign, we'll make sure to link out to that email template in our copy so that our customers know that we're not leaving them high and dry wishing for a ticket. We've got them covered. There you have it. Now you can use the customer avatar to nail your copy by writing exactly what your customers need to hear. Tune in next time for a brand new set of tips to improve your marketing effectiveness.